Hi and welcome to chord tutorial number 69. Today we'll be looking at funky 70s chords. The guitar is tuned standard and we're not using a capo of any sort. The first chord is going to be an E7 sharp 9. You've heard that one. Alright, we're up here at the 6th fret with my first finger on the D string. Okay? And then we're going to be placing the middle finger on the A string at the 7th fret, the ring finger on the G string at the 7th fret, and the pinky is going to go to the B string at fret 8. And there's our chord right there. We want to try to emphasize these strings. And basically when you touch this E string, you're muting it out. You don't hear that E string down there. You're going to hear that B string. When you go in for that B string, if you bend your finger, it's going to mute out that high E, and you're going to hear this. Now, the E string at the top is fine. Okay? So it's going to sound like that. But that is E7 sharp 9. Now, we're going to do an E9 simply by taking the pinky and putting it on the high E string at the seventh fret. Everything else stays the way it was. And now we've got an E ninth chord. Now let's move down the neck a little bit to a G 13. Something like this. Now what we've got there is I've got my thumb coming across to catch that G note on the low E string at the 3rd fret. And then I'm muting this string, kind of touching it there to mute it so you don't hear that A string. Okay, so we've got the first finger on the D string, 3rd fret, middle finger, G string, 4th fret, ring finger, B string, fifth fret. And I can throw that one in there if we need it, but we can get away with that just by not playing that string and muting it. But if you hold it down, it's okay too. You can let it go like that, you see? And you can still get that 13. And that's a great chord to raise like this. That's G13. Now we're going to look at some little funky uh, two note chords. We're going to go to a B minor, which is here. That's B, and that's D, right there. And that makes a simple B minor chord. That's B and D, right there. B is on the D string at the ninth fret. And D is on the G string at the seventh fret. Right there. Okay, that's B minor or a simple B minor chord. Now we're going to do a simple A chord, which is A C. Right there. Oh, so we've got the A right there, seventh fret on the D string, and C sharp. And that's on the G string at the 6th fret. That's, that's an A chord, or a simple A chord, 1 and 3. We're going to move that down a whole step to a simple G chord, which is G and B. G in its third. So we can do this. for just for little licks all right that was B minor a G and then a all right now let's go to an, an a chord like this all right 
going to go from an A chord to a D7, like that, okay? So A is here. This is the fifth fret. We're holding that down as if we were playing an F form. The B in high E string. Then the middle finger comes in to the G string at the sixth fret and the ring finger at the seventh fret on the D string, and that's our A. That's A major. Now we're not playing these notes up here. We're going to just play that right there. With a lot of these funky songs, the emphasis was on the high notes of the chord, okay? Now let's come down to a D7 in the same position, which is like that. Now what I've got here is a bar on the fifth fret, and I'm barring all the strings from the A string down to the B string, and I'm going to bring in the uh, ring finger to the D string at the seventh fret, and my pinky to the B string at the seventh fret, and I've got a D7, okay? And I'm also barring down to that high E string too, so I'm holding them all, holding them all down. All right, so just like that. Now we're going to move that whole thing down and repeat the same thing. We're going to go to a G chord, which is formed this exact same way that we did the A, right? So we're going to do a G form right there. And that's three, four, five, like that. B string and high E string, three. The G string, four. And the D string, five. And do the same as we did with the uh, other seven chord. We're going to bar the third fret. Bring in uh, the ring finger to the D string at the fifth fret and the pinky to the B string at the fifth fret. And now we have a C7, okay? So we had G to C or C7. All right, folks, that should be enough to work with. That's funky chords from the 70s. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day.